And vegan people would kill me. Yeah, I wouldn't kill you because vegans don't kill. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, that way. Three questions for you, and I'll ask them all together. First question is: Do you think it's immoral? to kill a human being second question do you think it's immoral to kill a dog and the third question is do you think it's immoral to kill a buffalo or a chicken oh wait no the third question is where it turns okay by uh, killing a human you do you mean like uh, in general or in general. The, uh, yeah obviously the, uh, killing humans is obviously bad uh hmm that's okay. a human being obviously yes it is immoral you just okay. cannot No. So it depends on uh, who are we killing exactly. Yeah. So I'll simplify that. That in all the three questions, the victim is innocent. The dog is not rabid. The human is not a criminal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the chicken and the buffalo, they're also innocent. It is immoral. All of them is immoral. Yeah. All three options yes. immoral. A dog. I mean, people do it. People yeah. kill humans also. Yeah, people. I mean, yeah, people kill humans also, but not that openly. Yeah. You know. Uh. It's immoral to kill all of them. As long as you are defending yourself, or you are planning to uh, use them, uh, for example, eating purpose or okay. anything. Obviously, it's immoral to kill all of them. So, but it depends as well. So, if it's a chicken and a buffalo, it can they can be killed. In case of animals, you are saying that as long as we are using them after the kill, Correct. it's not immoral. Correct. Okay. You know, chickens and buffaloes and stuff. It's a very big topic to debate on. Vegan people would kill me, but I think that's fine. On what basis you say that it's fine to kill a chicken, but not a dog? Because they are like they are uh, they are they are a staple food for many people, and not all of them are vegetarian. So sometimes they prefer they would prefer meat over veg uh, vegetarianism, or they prefer vegetarian meals. And also there are times when there's there's no access to vegetarian food, so killing a buffalo and chicken becomes ethical at that time just for survival. Do you think that by any chance you contribute to killing of animals? I don't think so. We don't contribute. It's just if we are non-vegetarian, then just we are eating it. So in a way, we are indirectly. Indirectly. Yeah, I'm vegetarian, so I don't think so. I am contributing it in any way. Okay. Yeah. So you are a vegetarian and you are a non-vegetarian. Okay. But you said immoral for the third. question yes. right and i specifically put chickens there i also put buffalo chickens or buffaloes so buffaloes i'll come to you but chickens was there so do you think it's immoral to kill a chicken it is but since uh, <laughs> i don't have any answer for that but yeah it is immoral to kill a chicken why is it not immoral if i'm killing the human and then using the human it's immoral because humans are little more evolved they are equivalent to their life value is equivalent to my life value so i will always say. i hope you are enjoying this video and uh, there's a small 15 second intervention that youtube is highly biased towards big content creators so even if you have subscribed to this channel but if you are not online at the time of video upload then there's a good chance that it will not come to your feed so to help my endeavors and this channel please hit the notification bell icon in that way you will never miss a video and it really helps the channel with the algorithm thank you so much consistency in our choices right on what basis are we not killing a human and a dog oh, yeah. but we are fine morally to kill a chicken or a buffalo or a goat yeah i mean it's hard to debate on nobody would even want to debate i wouldn't personally go and debate about this yeah but i think it's fine i mean we It's fine to kill a chicken or a buffalo because हम खुद खाते हैं वैसे how can we tell that it's not? But then then uh, someone who is let's say a serial killer can also say it's fine to kill a human because हम खुद मारते हैं. I mean, yeah, he would say that since I don't have a lot say that. I mean, obviously, if you ask a serial killer, he'll be like, "Ha, so what? I kill." Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I wouldn't say that. It's a bit, you know, weird. But yeah, I think it's fine. Why do you think it's weird? Obviously, it's weird. I mean, I cannot come. I cannot be like, oh, no, you can kill a human. It's fine, and even chicken killing is fine. Chicken is fine for me, but human is not. Yeah, I, I mean, we have already established that. Yeah, What I, we are trying to figure out why. I don't. Know. I don't know if there's a proper reason why. I but 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 don't you think that there should be a super powerful reason why? Because we someone's life's at stake. That is true. I mean, if if that's the case, you can even say chicken's life is at stake and dogs. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. It's so, so you root to say human life values more. You can't say that. But in some ways, maybe. Yeah, I just But feel like that. Do you by any chance participate in killing of any animals? No.
not at all i try even the products that i buy try that they are not either leather made or anything like that i try ki basically animals should not be killed or uh, tortured or cruelty should be shown in any form by our actions okay so do you consume dairy products dairy products yes it just i don't know how they are killing the chicken or what the process they are going through it just i'm buying it and i'm just cooking it so it's in a way i don't know what the process is if i know the what's the process because in, so in india in india we have open butcher shops we have seen how yes, they are treated yes, they are taken out of the yeah, I cage don't, i don't like i don't go through all that process because i have so many friends that who turned vegan just because after seeing those things yeah so i don't see all those things just i just order it and just cook it and that's all <laughs> but the, but you are still by your definition yes. you are participating in an, in an immoral act yes. it's just that you are not killing the animal yourself Hmm. but paying someone else to do I'm it just, on your behalf i'm just living in denial for that kind of process yeah. that i don't want to see all that thing yeah. that's all so then do you think it's uh, consistent of us to live in denial because someone's life is at stake i mean it's human nature i would say that we have to live in denial and i completely agree with the survival part in the sense that it's a very constrained situation let's say we are left in an island or in a barren land and only way to survive is to kill an animal yeah in such situations people have also killed human in survival situation people kill human for example self defense is an yeah. act of survival right yeah. but otherwise if it's not a survival situation do you think it's ethical to kill an animal for food choices yeah i guess it would be still it would be because like i said the preferences with for many people as well so yeah. i being an urban elite i would say that it might not be uh, this thing what do you say ethical or unethical but when you speak to a rural person from a person from a village area they they don't see the ethical part of killing an animal they see it as a part of their own livelihood and they also so from what i hear like what i've read about as well is that they tend to also worship the animal that they're going to kill so like even if you look into so many tamil friends who i have they say that when they slaughter a goat they they use all the body part for their own benefit so the the skin goes for leather every single part is consumed except for the head and the toes yeah, yeah. so in that way they're not wasting anything as such so it depends on the person as well That's so if there is let's say a tribe who kills humans and uh, they think it's a part of their culture then would you say then it's justified to kill a human as well so that's actually a very good trick question but um, it depends like again such tribals are protected by the law and most of them we do not go go near them we do not go near them uh, as such uh, and even like we say the uh, the north senegal island that area so the we are the, the tribes over there are protected and they are the tribes who come in contact with the humans outside they are killed because they think they are a threat to them and when you say that's part of their culture i mean we can't just say, we can't just come over and force our culture on them it becomes like colonialism maybe assume that i am the chicken and let's say i am going to be killed for your dinner in my last sec seconds of life what will you tell me <laughs> i'll be like uh, what will be your justification that why am i going to kill you yeah. oh probably be like i'm so sorry but i'm really hungry <laughs> that would be so wrong to tell but yeah, yeah. i'd say you served well you're a good chicken but i'm sorry i'm hungry i want to eat you well when you say you can do it is essentially that you have the power over animals to do it right it's not a crime as far as it's not a crime yeah, it's, it's not a crime yeah, yeah correct but crime is something or a legality is something which is formed after morality right correct at one point in time gay couple this was illegal right but it was immoral and that's why the law changed right as long as as you're not uh, harming anybody or damaging anybody right it's fine the game but, but in in this case we are harming literally harming and damaging the animal right so keep the food chain or keep you know that thing in place so the whole ecosystem is in place the in one has to eat another to keep you know uh, the whole bioscope and biosphere you know to keep in balance so maybe most of the non vegetarians you know give it th things like that but yeah I was a non-vegetarian for a very long time. But I was a non-vegetarian. I never thought about the food chain while eating a KFC. Yeah. <laughs> That is true. That might be one of the reasons but yeah, turning into vegetarian was a subconscious thought for me. I turned I guess 10 15 years back, almost 10 years back when I was in school. So yeah, the thought was something like this only why to kill animals to you know feed we have other options also, right? Yeah. This was my thought. Yeah, but yeah. yeah everybody has their own right to eat whatever they can living in tribal areas right and that forms a very small population of people who actually abuse and use animals right 
then from this rationale, do you think that it's at least immoral for people in a city like Bangalore to kill animals? Not necessarily. Like I said, it's a part. Of, it can. It's a part of diet. Uh, di di it's part of the diet. So. If, like, say, a person is not a, who's not a completely vegetarian, they eat, they also have chicken as a diet. That's completely fine for them. We can't force vegetarianism or veganism on a person. That's wrong. So, if someone, let's say, again, hypothetical, if someone in Bangalore, let's say, starts killing humans, then that would also, then that's an issue over there. That's an issue because how are the two issues different? I'm just asking. So, one is for food, and the other one is just for perhaps for pleasure or just. For food in most cases is taste pleasure unless it's a nutritional requirement so chicken is a nutritional requirement right chicken yeah, is but but we have replacement for that in terms of plant based diet as well so so it's not a plant nutritional requ plant based diet is that what my gym friends have told me that you have to eat consume more to get the same amount of proteins whereas when you consume less uh, less chicken so i don't go to the gym so i don't i don't i just do a home workout and i have eggs but uh, so my gym friends have told me that Getting chicken, getting protein from chicken is better than getting from uh, pro, um, from dal. So, so are you saying that we are seeing the life of a chicken by the words of some gym bros? Not just gym bros, but like I said, it's like completely based on a diet. This is kind of a similar reason that human to human abusers give to their victims yeah. as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, since we have not thought about this topic as seriously, so sometimes we think that. It's not an important topic, but from the perspective of the animal, it's their life, not just life, but even the way they are treated before their death, right? I totally get you. <laughs> makes sense. If it makes sense, then would you not say that you should try to be consistent with I your... I know, yeah, that is, that is true. I mean, a lot of people are going vegan and, you know, everything. It's for the good cause, but yeah. You can cut down on it. No one's asking you to stop completely. You can cut down on eating a lot of, you know, animal products, yeah. stuff. You can cut down on it. It's not wrong. You can okay. live without it. <laughs> would you have said the same thing if the victim would have been a human? No. Yes. No. You would have said to stop the yeah. abuse right away, not I tell the perpetrator to f take a flexitarian approach, cut down, phase it out gradually. Yeah, obviously I would say that. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> I would say that. A human, obviously, I would not let. Yeah. <laughs> then it comes back to the earlier question. What is that relevant difference that makes it morally okay for us to not to ab not abuse humans and dogs, but... Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no idea anymore. It's so refreshing to hear that you made that choice yeah. of not killing animals. Uh, and secondly, on uh, the right to choose our own food, I kind of disagree there because it's it's not like a personal choice because there is a victim involved. Otherwise, someone can also say that I am killing humans and that's my personal choice. Yeah. I think it's a moral obligation not to kill any sentient being. We can't just force a person being become a vegetarian or a vegan vegan person. But it's fine to force our choices on the animal. What is being forced here when I'm? Asking a person to become a vegan, I'm just asking the person to stop participating in animal cruelty. But when a person consumes an animal, they are literally forcing their choice, their dominion on the animal who is trapped, abused and eventually killed. Again, no, I don't have any... I, uh, like, so I also consume meat. It's not that I do not consume meat, but that's on an occasional basis. So most people do not see the killing part of it. They just consume the end product, but uh, when you're saying that, uh, like we are forcing our choices upon the chicken or the animal, uh, I mean, the animals unfortunately cannot speak or they don't have, an, they can't speak out their own opinion. They are speaking, they are screaming in their own language. We are just too ignorant. Peacefully kill that animal, simply kill and use it, so it's fine. If, if, if let's say abuse, abuse the animal. Can, uh, can you can you give me a framework in which you think you can kill me peacefully? You as in, it's a crime, so I will not kill you. <laughs> there is no peaceful framework to kill someone. Kill, killing someone is the ultimate act of violence unless it's a case of euthanasia. How can you then describe that loin will kill a deer? He has to hit something, now then he'll kill. So how you are going to punish loin or what? <laughs> so, so lion is an obligate carnivore. Lion, if the, if the lion doesn't kill the deer, the lion will perish. Lion's survival requirement depends on deer. 
right? For us, our survival requirement is not dependent on any animal. But initially, like in case of like uh, many yokes before, when yeah. farming was not yeah. there, people kill animals, they eat them because they cannot yeah. grow these things. That's why I'm not questioning them, I'm questioning us when we have the option. From that time, it's like okay to eat, na? At that time, maybe it was okay, but today, how is it okay? I don't eat chicken. I don't. You have no option, na? Humans have humans are at the top, right? As of now, we are as a species evolved to challenge all. We can challenge the nature itself, right? So why do we care? It's just that since I was a kid, I've been eating chicken a lot, so it's very hard for me to make that transition. But yes, I did. What's harder for you to make that transition, or for that chicken to go through that life of misery and then being killed? If we don't have that much of so let's say, like I said, we have so many breeding centers, right? That means the chicken population is way too much. Yeah. If we reduce those breeding centers and the chicken population reduce and the price increases, that means that people will stop eating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal people will stop buying all those things. That way we can change it. And That's reverse economics. It. You talked about supply first and demand later. Demand is what governs the supply, right? Yeah, but if we reduce the breeding centers and we reduce the population of the chickens, that way people... That price exists because Prashant and Shivam are creating the demand. The moment Prashant and Shivam stop that demand, they will stop the breeding centers. The common denominator is that of sentience. Sentience means the capacity to feel pain and suffering. And that's why I said I was a non-vegetarian from Lucknow, from a Bengali family. Then I okay. became a vegetarian and then I became a vegan. And I did not... You said earlier that vegans would kill you. I wouldn't kill you because vegans don't kill. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, that way, that's fine. Yeah. Do you think you will think in this direction? I do sometimes, but it's just that if I have not eaten chicken in a long time. Is the, it takes courage, you know, for these non-vegetarians. I have read one article like two, three days earlier only that the plants also have this uh, suffering and all no, things. That's, uh, that's, that article has been busted. Right, I can I can share at least ten resources. That article was just sensationalized. They said that plants are screaming. If you read the research paper, nowhere the term screaming was used. Ultimately, it boils down to the dominion. Right, the only reason why we are able to do so is because we can do so. Animals do not have that potential to offer organized resistance. That's true. Yep, you make sense. What's going on in your mind? I'm like, you know, oh wait, yeah, that, that's right. I mean, you know, if the animal had the capacity to tell us or, you know, do more stuff, obviously we wouldn't, we wouldn't do that. Like, imagine an engineer chicken or something, like, you know, someone who can tell us that it's not right or something. We wouldn't do that to that chicken. Or they dog. are telling us, they are screaming. We are just trying to be ignorant. Yep, it's true. Do you think you'll be able to kill a chicken yourself? I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, I do eat it, but if someone asks me, like, here's a chicken, here's a knife, kill it. No, no, yes, I won't be able to. So it's equivalent to us paying a hitman to kill yeah, yeah. on our behalf. That makes it all the more worse because we are paying someone else to do our dirty work. Yep, makes sense. Something to think about? Yeah, a lot to think about. <laughs> Fair justification, but at the end of the day, the power, the might is right kind of thing, situation occurs over here. Isn't that an argument which is used by a lot of men to abuse women? That is actually a good, that is, that is used, but I also, so we are not talking about when men hitting women, we are talking about animals being eaten, right? No, I am just talking about the oppressor mindset. Humans abusing animals because we are stronger and superior to them, and uh, some men who abuse women, they also act from a similar logical reasoning that they are superior, stronger, probably smarter than women. I'm not comparing the victims, just to clarify, but I am comparing the oppressor mindset. Interesting, I never thought in that way, so no comments on that. Do you think it's something worthy that deserves your consideration? It does. Interesting, yeah. A lot of human-to-human -human abuse happens because the person abusing can't resist, right? I did have that kind of argument with my vegan friend who recently turned vegan and, and she started yeah. saying all that gyan to me that yeah. you should not eat, I've seen what happens, yeah. this and that. Yeah. So I just, after a little bit of argument, I just said, okay, fine, let's, let's just end this, end this conversation. I don't want to, I don't want it to happen. Okay. That's it. So that means that morally you are aligned, like you said, ethically you are aligned. Then 
for our actions to align with our own moral values mm -hmm. going vegan is the logical step right yeah just because they are not they are not able to fight for their freedom and liberation doesn't mean that we get the right to abuse them right it's the same rationale that has always used that has always been used to oppress a certain human group as well right yeah that's true casteism racism yeah. patriarchy the logic the oppressor mindset is always of might becomes right yeah that's true i can't deny that i mean i haven't thought of that perspective because i have always been looking at animals like that we eat from that's a nutrition from a nutritional point of view rather than life yeah that's the, I, I, that's very honest of you to say this and that's the real problem that we think of them as products we forget that they are sentient beings just like us capable of feeling pain and suffering yeah that's yeah. true that's true actually for example capitalism right we guys are doing work somebody is earning more than us it will never happen unless a chicken becomes smarter than us consciousness of life itself i am product of society everybody is product of society all of life na no? whosoever will be dominate will dominate making some people powerful right you need some people to be exploited